Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for walking through this Alteryx Weekly Challenge with us. In this video, we're taking a look at Alteryx Weekly Challenge number 209. We're given some data converted from a PDF source, so it's a great exercise in identifying the inception date, the headers, and finally the data tables from each record, which is a page converted from a PDF file. So a great sample or exercise how we can work through uh, PDF data using Alteryx. Not our favorite way to ingest data, but it can be done. As you can see, there's a great deal of parsing and restructuring will do. Nevertheless, uh, each one of our records is one page from the PDF. There's a variable number of spaces and new lines on each of the records, which will make it challenging as we try to uh, convert the data into our finished product here with 33 records displayed, one per accident month. And we'll summarize the number of lives, the claims, and the amounts paid before and after the VAT. So to begin our exercise, we will first apply a record ID tool so we can track the position of each of those six pages. Be handy for us in the end. And the second tool we use is a text to columns tool to parse all of the data at each of the embedded new lines. So slash n here as our delimiter and indicating that we want to split to a dynamic number of rows. There are a variable number of rows created. So there's a different structure from each of the pages, which uh, could provide some challenges for us downstream, but we can use the flexible nature of Alteryx to quickly get around them. Uh, so the first thing that we'll do is just peel off that inception date from the first row of each record. So after using a sample tool to take the first row from each, here we'll use a piece of regex which will help identify the pattern of the date that's provided with uh, two digits, two digits, and four digits. And using the parse method, we can go ahead and create that inception date output field. Now onto the data table. This is where most of the, most of the logic is needed to, to help clean up these data points. Um, first pass, took a tile tool to try to identify where the headers and uh, data rows differed ultimately settled on using multi-row logic. Uh, this allowed for us to overcome the dynamic uh, or variable number of empty spaces and new lines separating the headers. So sometimes there's nine records of headers per page. Sometimes there are only eight. Um, so here using these multi-row formula tools, we can create a flag that says, yes, I want to keep this data row. This is part of my data table. And we have a record ID that assigns the, the original source record, but we also want to understand which row from the data table each of these data points is coming from. So before we use another text to columns and parse out the main data table itself, we want to make sure to apply another record ID so we can track that source row. So now that we've parsed this field one, we see that we're left with 92% empty spaces, all those variable spaces in between the data points themselves. So here we can actually just filter them out and use the true side of our filter. So 534 data points that we're interested in, um, aside from the first number on each of the uh, groups, each of the record IDs, there's one, number at the top. So we can use a sample tool to quickly skip over it. And then another tile tool to help us build our field structure so that when we cross tab, we'll get the shape that we want. So the cross tab tool allows us to go from a tall data table to a wide data table. And here indicating that we want the record ID and row to be our group by, we can retain that part of the data table and cross tab all of our values. So we could have used a formula or some regex to create the accident month. Uh, thought it was easiest to see just using a formula tool. And then a lot of the final logic that we need takes place in the join tool. So here, based on the record ID, we want to map in the inception date for each of those source pages in the PDF. And uh, the field names didn't exactly match 
of the naming conventions on the PDF. Uh, so here we just manually rename them. And lastly, using a summarize tool, we can group by the inception date and accident, accident month, and then sum all of our numeric fields. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.